We are diving deep into this world called the land today. Okay. And you know me. Yeah. I am always down for a good mystery, but no. this this is next level. Okay. We are talking cryptic history. We're talking tales of powerful beings, character profiles mm -hmm. that read like some high fantasy epic. What? And even game design notes. Oh, wow. What is the story here? Who are these people? All right. And what dangers await? Yeah. Let's unpack it all, shall we? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. What I think is so captivating about the land mm -hmm. is that we're not just handed the story, right? Fragment. We're piecing it together. Yeah. Like fragments of some forgotten language. A language that speaks of a mass exodus from Earth. Oh, wow. The year is 2450, okay. and yeah. humanity is on the brink. Oh, Advanced yeah. tech everywhere. Yeah. But facing a threat? Okay. Unlike anything, we know uh, a magical threat. That forces our descendants to flee. Wow. Through some kind of portal, the gate. Okay. Driven by mm -hmm. the terrifying watchers in the void. Right. Now, that's a story hook if I ever heard one. It really makes you wonder what kind of desperation right. would drive humanity to such lengths. Yeah. And what exactly were they running from? Yeah. These watchers in the void. Yeah. yeah. They're described as beings of mm. immense, almost unimaginable power. Oh, I bet. Yeah. But here's where it gets really interesting. Okay. The land isn't just some empty planet waiting to be colonized. Right. It fought back. Oh. Something awoke. Interesting. As the refugees came through, uh -huh. a force that shielded them from the Watchers. Wow. It's like the planet itself chose them, don't you think? It's a fascinating concept, isn't it? Yeah. A self-preserving world. Right. Intrinsically linked to its inhabitants. Yeah. And this protective force. Right. That's where the story of the divines begins. Okay. Pella, Solus, Ghislaine. Each with their own domain. Right. Their own personality. Okay, so we're talking yeah. powerful beings, almost godlike, right. who guide and protect these early settlers. Right. But why? Yeah. What's their stake in all of this? Mm -hmm. And what's the deal with that void creature right. turned to stone in the Dead Dune Sea? Right. right. Like, right. what's that about? It's a clear demonstration of the power that resides within the land. Yeah. And a chilling reminder of the forces humanity is up against. Right. But let's not forget those who came before. Right. The Elvirai. Okay. They thrived here mm -hmm. long before humans. Right. Technologically. Right. And magically advanced. Right. Yet they vanished. Wait, they just vanished? They just. What happened to them? Yeah. Poof. Gone. This is incredible. We're yeah. talking advanced civilizations, mm -hmm. cities with names like Zorfindar and Borodale, right. artistry, culture, mm -hmm. and then nothing just whispers in the wind. Ruins swallowed by time yeah. and artifacts imbued with power we can barely comprehend. I know. Talk about a mystery. It really is. Right. It's incredible. Yeah. And it's through their remnants mm -hmm. that we get glimpses into their lives, okay. their struggles, mm -hmm. their mastery of magic. Right. Remember the tale of the Wanderer's Duel with Mawet's champion? Oh, yeah. A battle that raged for days. Oh, how could I forget? Decided in a single breathtaking moment. The clash of titans. It's incredible. Yeah. But yeah. how does this wanderer tie into the Elvirai? Well, it's believed okay. that he wields some form of their ancient magic. Okay. Something powerful mm -hmm. and incredibly dangerous. Okay. Which begs the question, All right. who is this wanderer? Right. And what is he doing in the land? All right, so we've got these enigmatic precursors. Right. The Elvirai. The Elvirai. Gone but not forgotten. Right. Then humans arrive. All right. Guided by the divines oh. and establish their own settlements. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about these settlements. Okay. Trinity. Yes. The very first. Okay. Ruled by a council known as the Three. Right. I love these little details. Oh, yeah. The Exiles Rest in mm -hmm. uh, Renoir the Collector. Right. It just makes this world feel... Yeah. real lived in it's fascinating mm -hmm. how closely yeah trinity's government mirrors those early days right guided by the principles of pella solus and galane right it speaks to the lasting influence of the divines wouldn't you say absolutely yeah. but trinity isn't the only game in town right? oh absolutely not okay no tell me about bastille okay with its dual temples yes honoring mordrock and Torl. right what's the story there well, Bastille thrives on trade okay. and a deep connection to the elements. 
Okay. It's dual temples mm -hmm. dedicated to the gods of trade right. and weather. Right. Highlight a fascinating aspect of life on the land. What's that? This delicate balance between faith and commerce. Oh, interesting. And then there's Malden. Okay. A rough and tumble town mm -hmm. carved from the wilderness itself. Okay. Ruled by the formidable lady, Vanessa Drake. Lady Drake, you say? That's right. Now she sounds like someone I would not want to cross. With good reason. Oh, really? She's known for her sharp wit. Okay. Her even sharper sword. Oh. And her unwavering control mm -hmm. over Malden's affairs. Okay. But beneath the surface, uh -oh. there are whispers yeah. of something else brewing in Malden. Okay. Something connected to a shadowy organization. Okay. Known only as the Agency. The Agency. They're shrouded in secrecy. Right. Their motives unclear. Okay. But their influence seems to be spreading. Okay, now that's intriguing. Right. A powerful leader. Yeah. A secretive organization pulling strings. Exactly. Malden sounds like it's got its own share of secrets. Uh, yeah. But every good story needs a little danger, right? And boy, does the land deliver. We're talking Oof. about the singing swamps. Yeah. Home to the lizard folk. Yeah. Yes, well, but yeah. also what? giant mosquitoes rabid swamp dogs right and oh yeah remnants of elvari structures hidden yeah. within oh wow yeah it's like stepping into the jaws of a beautiful but deadly beast isn't it right the swamps are teeming with life right both wondrous and terrifying yeah and then there's the harbinger okay this malevolent entity mm -hmm. mentioned in hushed tones in the elvari texts okay still haunts the land yeah no one knows what it is mm -hmm. or what it wants right but its very existence speaks to the unpredictable nature of this world. It's like this constant looming threat. Right. A reminder that for all its beauty, the land demands respect. Absolutely. But the harbinger isn't the only danger lurking out there, is it? No. What about those eerie ruins of Vale? Ah, uh, yes. Right. Overrun by magically engineered vegetation. Okay. Haunted by shadowy figures. It's as though the Elveri, in their mm -hmm. final days, Yeah imbued this place with both wonder and peril. Okay. Even the plants themselves can be deadly. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. What do you mean? Like well, that? there are whispers of a substance called hasha leaf found within the ruins. Okay. Incredibly useful for a variety of purposes, mm -hmm. but with a nasty side effect. Wait, what do you mean? What does it do? <laughs> Let's just say it's best to handle hasha leaf with extreme caution. Okay. Those who aren't careful might find themselves shall we say, Yeah. indisposed. Okay. You had me at magically engineered vegetation, yeah. but indisposed from a plant. I think I'll be steering clear of those ruins. Probably a good idea. And speaking of powerful things, oh, yes. we can't forget about Ultima Spiritus. Oh, right. The legendary weapon tied to the divine Mahwet. Ah, Ultima Spiritus, yes. Right. A weapon of immense power, mm -hmm. shattered and scattered. Right. Its current whereabouts unknown. It's enough to make any adventurer's heart race, yeah. wouldn't you say? Absolutely. Yeah. But here's where it gets really meta. Okay. This isn't just some ancient legend. Right. This is a game. Oh, right. Yeah. A play-by-email RPG, to be yes. precise. Yes. And you, dear listener, yes. can step into this world. Oh, wow. Embody wow. characters navigating its wonders and dangers. And we're not just talking about nameless heroes here. Right. We've got Natasha Catsclaw. Yes. A stealthy rogue with a mysterious past. Mm -hmm. Love her. Juba Gash. Yes. A warrior with a heart of gold mm -hmm. and a knack for trouble. That's right. And then there's yeah, Kane, like... right. a stoic warrior mm -hmm. with a hidden past. Yeah. And the enigmatic Quisitor. Of course. Seeking knowledge, unraveling ancient mysteries. It is best. <laughs> right. Yes. These are just a few of the individuals drawn into the intrigue of the land. It's true, Each right? with their own motivations and destinies. It's true. And guess what? They're all currently caught up what? in the search for the missing Tali. <laughs> right. A young man with a connection to the divines. Right. Talk about a captivating narrative hook. It's a good one. But he's not the only one with a part to play in this grand story. Oh. We've also got Castillo Shadowkin. Right. A name whispered with a mix of fear and fascination. Yeah. He seems to walk a darker path, his true allegiance unknown. Interesting. And then there's Macklin Stoneforge. Okay. A master craftsman hmm. who vanished under mysterious circumstances. Right. Last seen entangled in the shadowy dealings of the agency. Right. 
it seems like every corner of this world yeah. holds another layer of intrigue. Right. Another thread in the tapestry. Yes. It's almost as if the land itself is alive. It's true. Pulsating with untold stories. Yeah. Just waiting to be discovered. Exactly. And speaking of experiencing the land. Yes. We can't forget the most enigmatic figure of them all. Right. The Wanderer. The Wanderer, okay. A duelist of unparalleled skill. Right. Potentially wielding the magic of the Elveri. Mm -hmm. His motives remain shrouded in mystery. They do. Right. It's true. Some whisper he's a demi-divine, others a force of nature. Right. His appearances throughout history are fleeting. Mm. His purpose never fully revealed. Right. He's a phantom, a rumor, a legend whispered in hushed tones. That's right. Okay, but we've got some concrete details too. Okay. He dueled Mawit's champion, vanished into thin air, right. and might be responsible for some of the most significant events in the land's history. Right. So it begs the question. It does. Is the Wanderer a protector, a destroyer, or something else entirely? It's a great question. Ugh, the suspense is killing me. I know, right? We're going to need a whole separate deep dive just right. to unravel his mysteries. Exactly. But for now, let's shift our focus back okay. to those who are actively shaping the present of the land. Okay. The players. The players, right. What drives them? Yeah. What choices are they making? Mm -hmm. And how are their actions shaping the world around them? All good questions. It's fascinating how these individual stories, mm -hmm. these threads of fate, right. intertwine with the larger narrative of the land, wouldn't you say? Totally. Uh. Take just a Carpolo, for example. Okay. A pure blood descendant of Old Earth. Right. A shy ranking member of the Church of Ghislaine mm -hmm. and one of the current three governing Trinity. Yeah. <laughs> you would think someone so connected to humanity's past. Yeah would cling to it, but no. Right. He's fiercely devoted to Ghislaine's ideals of law and order in this new world. Interesting. It speaks to a certain adaptability, wouldn't you say? Yeah. The ability to embrace a new world, new beliefs, even after such a tumultuous upheaval. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. It makes you wonder mm -hmm. what he thinks about Earth, about those who chose not to go through the gate. Right. And speaking of adaptability, yeah. Justa Carpolo is a formidable swordsman. Even he couldn't best the Wanderer in that legendary duel. It's intriguing, isn't it? Right. Why would the Wanderer, yeah. a being of such power, right. even engage in a duel with a mortal man? Right. What was he trying to prove? Yeah. Or mm -hmm. perhaps, more intriguingly, yeah. what was he trying to communicate? Ugh, the mystery deepens. I know, right? But while we're pondering the enigmatic Wanderer, yeah. real people are facing real danger every day in this world, right? Oh, absolutely. Right. Remember those game designer notes we mentioned? Yes. They offer a fascinating glimpse into the minds yeah. behind the land. Mm -hmm. It's clear they wanted to create a world yeah. that felt familiar, right. yet fundamentally different from our own. Oh, okay. Right. With all its beauty yeah. comes a healthy dose of peril. That's right. Those singing swamps, for example. Right. They're not just home to the lizard folk. Oh, no. No. Those game design notes specifically mentioned giant mosquitoes. Okay. Rabid swamp dogs. Oh, man. Even rumors of a creature that can mimic voices. What? Luring unsuspecting travelers to their doom. Okay, I am never complaining about mosquitoes again. Yeah. But amidst the danger, right. there's also beauty. Right. Oh, yeah. We've got those game design notes describing breathtaking landscapes, right. bioluminescent forests, mm -hmm. crystal clear rivers reflecting the sky. It's right. like they took the best and most awe-inspiring aspects of our world right. and amplified them. Exactly. And let's not forget the divines. Oh, right. Each one a testament to the raw power and majesty of the land. That's right. Pella. Yes. The embodiment of nature's fury and grace. Mm -hmm. Solace, whose very touch can mend or shatter mountains. Right. And Ghislaine. Yes. The architect of order whose wisdom guides the just. Right. It makes you realize that humanity, for all its technological advancements, right. is still at the mercy of forces beyond its control. That's right. And speaking of forces beyond control, what about that missing young man, Tally? Right. Our players are on his trail, right? They are indeed. Okay. And their search yes. is leading them into the heart of the singing swamps. Okay. Where they're encountering mm -hmm. not just dangerous creatures, right. but also the enigmatic lizard folk. Okay. So yes. from what I've gathered, mm -hmm. the lizard folk are fiercely independent. Right. Deeply spiritual. Yes. And not overly fond of outsiders. True. 
Okay. They possess their own ancient magic. Okay. One deeply rooted in their connection to the swamps. Okay. They say the lizard folk yeah. can communicate with the very plants and creatures around them. Okay, now that's just cool. Right. But imagine the stories they must have. Right. I wonder if they ever encountered the Elveri. It's possible. Right. Yeah. Maybe they hold the key to what happened to them. It's certainly possible. Right. But remember, yeah. the swamps hold their own secrets. Okay. Some more sinister than others. Right, right. Like those whispers of a voice mimicking creature. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, but hey. Yes. At least it's not all doom and gloom in the land. That's true. Tell me more about those bioluminescent forests. Oh, yes. Right. Imagine a canopy of trees, mm -hmm. their leaves shimmering with an otherworldly light. Okay. Illuminating the forest floor in a thousand shades of blue and green. Wow. It's said that within these forests, yeah. one can sometimes catch glimpses of the past. What? Echoes of events long gone. Wow, talk about a sensory overload. It's right. like something out of a dream. Yeah. But even dreamlike beauty can be deceiving, right? Precisely. Yeah. The land constantly reminds us that beauty and danger yeah. often go hand in hand. Right. Even the most enchanting landscapes mm -hmm. can harbor hidden threats. Like those hasha leaf plants we talked about earlier. Exactly. Beautiful but dangerous. Right. It's a good thing our players are a resourceful bunch. <laughs> Indeed. They're learning to adapt. Hmm. to the ever-changing landscape of the land. Right. Relying on their whips, their skills, mm -hmm. and a bit of luck to survive. And sometimes a little divine intervention doesn't hurt either, right? It seems the divines, mm -hmm. while not directly interfering in the affairs of mortals, mm -hmm. have a way of nudging events in a particular direction. Right. Their presence is subtle yet undeniable. Okay, so back to our intrepid players. Yes. Where does their search for the missing tally lead them next? Their journey takes them from the sweltering depths of the singing swamps okay. to the cool, windswept peaks of Mount Gallon. Mount Gallon. Yes. Okay. Where ancient secrets lie buried beneath layers of snow and ice. Mount Gallon, isn't that where the Church of Ghislaine has its main temple? That's right. Talk about a change of scenery. Right. From swamps to snow-capped mountains in the blink of an eye. It's a testament to the sheer diversity of the land, wouldn't you say? Absolutely. Yeah. But let's be honest. Yeah. I'm most curious about the secrets hidden on that mountain. Right. Are we talking ancient Elvari ruins? It's possible. Hidden messages from the divines? Perhaps a bit of both. Ooh. The Church of Ghislaine is renowned for its vast libraries. Okay. Filled with scrolls and texts dating back to the arrival of the first exiles. Right. Some believe they hold the key to understanding the true nature of the divines. Okay. Even the origins of the land itself. Wow, that's a lot to unpack. Right. So our players are walking into a potential treasure trove of knowledge. That's right. <laughs> guarded by who knows what. Exactly. You know, for a missing person's case. Right. This is turning out to be quite the adventure. And we're just getting started. Oh. Uh, Remember the agency operating in the shadows? Oh, man, I knew those guys were trouble. It seems their reach extends even to the heights of Mount Gallon. Okay. Their motives remain unclear. Right. But their involvement adds a layer of intrigue. Right. To an already captivating mystery. So we've got a missing person. Hmm. Ancient secrets. Yeah. Shadowy organizations. Right. And the breathtaking backdrop of Mount Galen. What could be better? What could possibly happen next? It's like we're standing at the foot of a mountain ourselves. Right. Each step forward. Yeah. Revealing a new vista. Mm -hmm. A new layer of this incredible world. A world yeah. where ancient powers mm -hmm. and present dangers intertwine. Yeah. Where even the very earth seems to hold its breath. And amidst it all, yeah, these ordinary people right. are players mm -hmm. caught in the center of a mystery right. that could reshape everything they thought they knew about the land. It makes you wonder, doesn't it? Right. What would you do yeah. if you found yourself in their shoes? Right. Imagine standing on the precipice of discovery, Yeah. knowing that one wrong step right. could have dire consequences. Knowing that the choices you make, right. the paths you choose... Mm -hmm could determine the fate of others. Yeah. No pressure. <laughs> but that's the beauty of it all, isn't it? Yeah. The weight of consequence. Yeah. The thrill of the unknown. Right. It's yeah. what draws us to stories like this. Yeah. To worlds like the land. And speaking of stories, mm -hmm. we've only scratched the surface right. of what this world has to offer. That's true. We've encountered enigmatic figures like 
the wanderer right explored the perilous beauty of the singing swamps yes and glimpsed the political machinations unfolding in the heart of trinity right we've marveled at the ancient magic of the elveri yeah. questioned the motives of the agency mm. and felt a twinge of fear at the mention of the harbinger yeah it's scary out there right it's a scary place but through it all yeah one question remains unanswered Okay. What happened to Tally? Right. His disappearance is the catalyst, the yes. ripple mm -hmm. that set this entire chain of events in motion. And as our players delve deeper into the mystery, right. they find themselves confronting not only the external dangers of the land, mm -hmm. but also the internal struggles that haunt them. Right. Their pasts, their fears, their doubts. All laid bare right. amidst the trials they face. It's a reminder that even in a world as fantastical as the land, right. the human heart mm -hmm. remains a mystery, capable of both great courage and unimaginable darkness. That's right. And as we reach the end of our deep dive, yeah. it's that very duality that lingers. It's true. The beauty and the danger, the right. wonder and the fear, the known and the unknown. Yeah. The land holds them all in a delicate balance. It's true. A constant reminder that even in a world of magic and wonder, right. there are consequences to every action. It's true. And now, yes. dear listener, mm -hmm. it's your turn to ponder the mysteries we've uncovered. That's right. To ask yourself, yes. what would you fight for in the land? What would you do? Would you join the search for Tally? Right. Risking your life to unravel the secrets of his disappearance. Would you delve into the shadowy world of the agency? Seeking to expose their true motives. Or would you chart your own course? Mm -hmm. Seeking out the lost remnants of the Elveri. Okay. Hoping to unlock the secrets of their magic. The choice, yes. as always, is yours. The land awaits.